at you guys. Welcome back. And boy, do I have a story for you. So, while all this World War III garbage is going on, the big distraction, look what's creeping up. <clears throat> Undercover. Disease X. A hidden but inevitable creeping danger. Creeping in the shadows. Let's see where I'm going to start here. I'll start right here. Prevention is better than cure. Nothing exemplifies this idea better than disease X. According to the World Health Organization, disease X represents the knowledge that a serious international epidemic could be caused by a pathogen currently unknown to cause human disease. Richard Hatchett, Chief Executive Officer of the California Coalition of Epidemic Preparedness in Innovations, said that Disease X, it might sound like science fiction, but Disease X is something we must prepare for. Of course, it's Disease X. In a list of diseases that the WHO considers high priority in terms of research and development, Disease X occupies a spot among diseases such as Ebola, Zika, and coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19. Unexpected outbreaks of infectious disease, Disease X, have repeatedly repeatedly rocked the medical confidence and have taken the medical world by surprise. Some experts have even commented that COVID-19 caused by severe acute respiratory coronavirus, virus 2, SARS, met the standards to be considered the first disease X, while some authors have called Zika a disease X. However, one unfortunate possibility is that COVID-19 and other recent pandemics might have been milder versions of what will eventually be the most prominent disease X. It's already here. They're already having lockdowns in India. Disease X is supposed to be caused by a pathogen X. Such a pathogen is expected to be a zoonosis, most likely an RNA virus <clears throat> emerging from an area where the right mix of risk factors highly promotes the risk of sustained transmission. What is an RNA virus? Well, I know that um, in the poke, there were, were RNA inhibitors. What these RNA inhibitors did was literally change DNA. Alter DNA, RNA inhibitors. So let's see, an RNA virus, if you have an RNA inhibitor, that would mean that it's a... Uh, either a, a genetic, some some kind of disease that has to do with genetics, or or the DNA. Maybe, maybe who knows? Maybe all the people that got the poke. I don't know. I'm not a medical uh, expert. The WHO has been criticized for underreacting on pandemics such as the 2014 Ebola pandemic. And as an organization with limited funding and weak political power, the WHO usually fails when it comes to timely and strong acts to reduce the spread of trans miserable diseases, transmissible diseases that are transmiserable. <laughs> A study that aimed at figuring out where the responsibility lies for the 2014 Ebola outbreak also concluded that while the WHO might have been partly to blame, it's also the lack of cooperation from governments and delayed funding aggra aggravates the situation. 
Scientists have also commented that although the COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on the world, as soon as it disappears into the background, health care systems will remain the same. Politicians might use the weak recovering economy due to the pandemic as a reason to delay funding for epidemic preparation, as a result, failing to produce timely effective measures. Similarly, while emerging zoonotic pathogens are a threat that needs to be monitored, the possibility of an engineered pandemic pathogen also cannot be ignored. The release of such pathogens, either through laboratory accidents or as an act of bioterrorism, might lead to a disastrous disease X, as well as has been remarked as a global catastrophic risk. There is a dire need to seriously fund the surveillance of research into and treatment of emerging potential pandemic agents that could cause disease X. Despite the grim situation, steps can be taken to stop disease X and to reduce the spread of damage of disease X by pr properly and preemptively preparing for it. We need to develop international guidelines to control bioterrorism. Bioterrorism attacks could also result in an epidemic, for example. If Ebola or Lassa viruses <coughs> were used as biological agents, advice of the academics should be sought in a timely way without any political involvement. Immediate and appropriate travel restrictions and airport screening will need to be implemented to contain the spread of pathogen X across borders. The world's scientists, clinicians, and infectious disease experts must act collaboratively to investigate, control, and eliminate the disease in a timely way. Widespread testing and aggressive contact tracing can effectively contain the outbreak. Timely investments can be made to accelerate the development, availability, and approval of medical countermeasures like diagnostics, vaccines, and clinical trials required before and during the pandemic. Active surveillance of virus laboratories is needed to avoid a potential leak of a new virus. I just um, read that the supposedly now we can't you know we can't say that any other shit is true but i just read today that the uh poke was completely different from what what was the uh whatever the test poke was was nothing like the real poke if that makes any sense two completely different things A One Health approach has also been proposed that provides a complete way to address the underlying issues for the spread of disease X, bringing institu bridging institutional gaps, defining priority risk areas and pathogens, and emphasizing supposed risk factors for subsequent events involving emerging and re-emerging infectious disease pathogens. <clears throat> The COVID-19 pandemic was not the first to wreak havoc on the world, and it will not be the last. Thus, we need to prepare for the next outbreak as soon as possible. When was this written? It does not say. Yes, it does. Wait, does it? This is July 26th of 2021. Well, hold on. Yeah, this is old. Hold, please. All right. Disease X pandemic. What is it? All you need to know about it is here. All right. This is October 4th, so three weeks ago. Global health specialists have issued a warning suggesting that COVID-19 could just be a sign of a more catastrophic disease X pandemic to come, according to the Daily Mail. The head of the UK's vaccine task force, Dame Kate Bingham, expressed gratitude that COVID-19 was not more deadly and gave a dire warning that the next pandemic might kill at least 50 million 
sheeple. As COVID-19 becomes a more common and recurrent health issue, UK medical specialists are now preparing for a possible new pandemic called Disease X. They issued a warning that the terrible Spanish flu of 1918 to 1920 may be comparable to the effects of this new virus. It's already here, you guys. The World Health Organization has named this Disease X pandemic, and to fight it, vaccinations will once again need to be developed and supplied in a timely manner. However, there is currently no assurance that this will occur. See how it's talking about India? It's already spreading in India. Let's see here. Concerns over disease X pandemic, a word that the World Health Organization created, of course they did, are being raised by medical professionals. They alert us to the possibility that this next pandemic might kill 20 times as many people as the coronavirus did. Since the COVID-19 epidemic started in 2020, more than 2.5 million individuals have sadly died globally, even though we don't live on a ball. So, let's change it up. More than 2.5 million individuals have sad sadly died flatly. <laughs> These are the top 10 things to know about disease X. Invest in, this is what we need to do, invest in surveillance, right, develop robust global surveillance systems to detect emerging threats early, right, promote one health, recognize the interconnection of human, animal, and environmental health to identify and mitigate risks, responsible antibiotic use, Implement antimicrobial stewardship to combat drug-resistant pathogens. Strengthen healthcare systems. Build capacity in healthcare systems for both pandemic response and routine healthcare needs. Global cooperation. Foster international collaboration in information sharing, resource allocation, and research efforts. Preparedness plans. Develop comprehensive pandemic preparedness plans, including stockpiling essential supplies and rapid response teams. Look, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. About a year before the first one, the first pandemic, I, uh, this girl that had a very small channel, uh, she was a part of, uh, the National Guard. She was a weekend warrior. She put out a video warning people. This was a year before the first one that they had been training. Their training had late recently and been nothing but doing roadblocks and wristband checking for a medical emergency. Okay. And they are probably still rehearsing and training because that's not really what they did last time. Last time was just the, the test. This, this X this is the real deal. You're not going to be able to go from one neighborhood to another without a wristband saying that you've been poked. People think that this is coming, that World War III is hitting the fan. No. This is the... I mean, that may happen, but that's not, that's not what's going to bring us down. What's going to bring us down is this next medical emergency. And it is already, it's already going on. 
They're just not talking about it. There it is. They even look, they already have a picture of it. Of course they do. What is most likely to cause the next disease X pandemic threat? <laughs> Gee, I wonder. Bill Gates? <laughs> We're not sure. Sure you're not. However, six virus families. <laughs> the Adenoviridae, Adenoviridae, Coronaviridae, Orthomyoviridae, Paramyxoviridae, whatever, 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 among the roughly two dozen families that can infect humans possess these characteristics and are thus most likely to be the source of the next pandemic. No immunity. There is no inherent immunity among the global populace. Airborne, spread via respiratory transmission. Silent, spreadable by sick individuals without symptoms. Harmful, there are no current efficient medications or vaccinations. How can we make medical countermeasures without knowing which disease will strike next? By concentrating efforts on developing medicinal countermeasures against the viral families most likely to start pandemics rather than a particular virus that could or might not pose a hazard in the future, the U.S. should provide funding for a brand new targeted disease X medical countermeasure program that makes use of the vaccination platforms and technology most suited to the virus families most likely to unleash devastating disease outbreaks in the future. <coughs> <coughs> I think I'm getting it right now. When the next member of the viral family develops, medical countermeasures against one member might be readily modified to target another. Private public calibrations might create vaccinations, antivirals, and diagnostics for a variety of unidentified possible pandemic viruses in months rather than years using this adaptable strategy. The looming danger of disease X. The scientists warning mirrors the WHO's prediction of an inevitable disease X pandemic. The WHO created the name in 2018 before the COVID-19 epidemic among the WHO's blueprint list of priority diseases for the next lethal pandemic are Ebola, SARS, and Zika. So their blueprint list of priority diseases, priority, huh? For the next lethal pandemic are Ebola, SARS, and Zika. Well, you know, if there was a spread of Ebola, oh my God. The WHO declares disease X. Oh, the WHO declared disease X represents the knowledge that a serious international epidemic could be caused by a pathogen currently unknown to cause human disease. The blueprint list includes infectious disorders without medicinal treatments. Some public health professionals fear the next disease X will be zoonotic like Ebola, the HIV, AIDS, and COVID-19. The need for the preparedness, COVID-19, which killed 20 million people worldwide. Really? Did it really? I know that my heater is not doing that again. COVID-19, which killed 20 million people worldwide, was not the worst case scenario, according to the authors. They note that the virus killed fewer people than Ebola, really, avian flu, and MERS. They argue that chance cannot prevent the next epidemic or pandemic, which might be more lethal and infectious. Most virus victims recovered, however, 67% of Ebola patients die. At 60%, bird flu is close behind. Even MERS reached 34. 
The next outbreak cannot be controlled, the author says. They suggest investing in vaccine research and development, strengthening health systems and surveillance, and improving global calibration and coordination to prepare for pandemics. They claim the next epidemic is coming and the world must be prepared. All right. So this is what somebody said. I think you you are a supporter of pandemic. Who says it's in, in, inevitable? Means they know it will come. It means these are being created. So it's in, inevitable. Yeah, right? 2018, who said COVID is coming? Before that, Bill Gates said in 2015 interview, a pandemic of flu is coming. Don't fool public. It's all being created and named X because the fear of businesses is the best. But this time vaccines won't be taken by public because post-vaccine side effects reports are suppressed by the government. Ho, ho, ho. Such a typical deplorable ignoramus who thinks it knows it all yet so ignorant and obvious to everything. It is no wonder deplorable grifters like Putin, Trump, Kim, Modi, Xi, Netanyahu, al-Assad, and the like exist in the world. There are no shortage of their idiotic, uninformed base. Hold, please. All right, you guys. World, World Health, the WHO, World Health Organization. This is October 3rd, disease outbreak news. This is what they're calling it. This is disease X, the Nipah virus infection. From the 12th to 15th of September 2023, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India reported six laboratory confirmed Nipper virus cases, including two deaths in the district of whatever. Aside from the first case, whose source of infection is unknown, the other cases were family and hospital contacts of the first case. As of 27 September 2023, 1,288 contacts of the confirmed cases were traced, including high-risk contacts and healthcare workers who are under quarantine and monitoring for 21 days. Since the 12th of September, 387 samples have been tested, of which six cases were positive for the virus and infection, and all remaining samples tested negative. Since the 15th of September, no new cases have been detected. This is the sixth outbreak in India since 2001. It's the infection is spread to humans through contact with infected animals such as bats and pigs. Additionally, direct contact with an infected individual can also lead to transmission. Although this route is less common, those affected by this virus infection may experience severe symptoms, including acute respiratory infection and fatal encephalitis. The only way to reduce or prevent infection in people is by raising awareness. Case management should focus on providing patients with supportive, supportive care measures and intensive support for severe respiratory and neurological complications. Um, the first case whose source of infectious infection is unknown had pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome and was admitted to a hospital in late August. He died a few days after admission. The other five confirmed cases were close contacts. Of the first case, including two family members, Cox contacts in the hospital, uh, some blah, blah, blah. The second death occurred in an individual who accompanied another patient to the hospital. As of the 27th of September, uh, 1,288 contacts of the confirmed cases have been traced, including high-risk contacts. All identified contacts are under quarantine. The government response measures, including declaring contaminant zones in nine villages. So, so they are, uh, they're locking people down in nine different villages. And of course they're blaming it on a bat 
It's a, it's a bat-borne zoonotic disease transmitted to humans through infected animals, such as bats and pigs, food contaminated with saliva, urine, and excreted, excreted of infected animals. Excreta, poop. It can also be transmitted directly from person to person through close contact with an infected person, although this represents, yeah, 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 right. This virus in humans causes a range of clinical presentations including acute respiratory infection and fatal encephalitis the case for fertility rates in outbreaks across bangladesh india malaysia and singapore typically range from 40 and 100 percent as of now there are no available effective therapies or vaccines for it the current outbreak is in the third nipah virus outbreak in the district of whatever and the fourth outbreak in the other states since 2018 and the sixth outbreak in India. Similar to the previous outbreak in 2018, this outbreak started with the first case of subsequent clustering of cases and family contacts. So they have mobilized Department of Health and Family Welfare, Department of Health Research, as well as Department of Animal Husbandry and support the state of the district immersion and containment. A total of 19 core committees were created and tasked for various response measures, including surveillance, sample testing. So they're already doing all this shit that they were talking about that we were reading before. This, this is it, you guys. It, it's going to spread. They're just, you know, distracting everybody with this World War III garbage. Now, they haven't gone on, Israelis haven't attacked on the ground until just now, I think. Today is the 26th, it's early in the morning, of October 26th, 2023. And I, there is a, the, the headlines I just recently saw where there was a shooter in Maine. He shot 22 people, a mass shooter, and also that Israel has now gone in on the ground. I don't know how true that is. But notice how long it took them, and I wouldn't be surprised if they don't ever go in on the ground. They're going to gas. They're going to gas these guys. There's, I mean... Let's just put it like this. If I was the one in control of an army and I had to send my people in to that kind of situation, I would have to gas them too. Because why would I want all my why would I want my people to die when if it if things are the way they say they are, um, with the way these people are, well then yeah, just gas them. And I guess this gas doesn't kill them, it just paralyzes them. Who knows? Who knows? Dead body management. High reported case fatality rate is, of course, 33%. <laughs> Reducing the risk of bat to human transmission. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> coming guys don't let this distraction fool you because this is creeping up in the shadows thanks for watching <laughs>